As of 2015, there are 146 official moons in the solar system, and then another 27 provisional moons, who are still waiting for the status of their application. All official moons have names after gods or Shakespearean characters, names like Callisto, Titan, or Prometheus. But there's one moon in the solar system with a super boring name, the one you're most familiar with, Moon. But come on, that's such a boring name. Clearly it's just its common name. So what's the moon's real name, its scientific name, the neato cool name like Creelon, Krona, Avron, or Wadib? You ready for this? The answer is the moon. So here's some hand waving and excuse making, but really this is our own damn fault. So until Galileo first turned his telescope to the skies in 1610 and realized that Jupiter had tiny spots of light orbiting around it, astronomers had no idea other planets had moons. Humans have been around for a few hundred thousand years, and the moon was a familiar object in the sky. We've only had evidence of other moons for a little over 400 years. We didn't collectively understand the Earth was a planet until Copernicus developed the heliocentric model of the solar system, and we still have a little trouble with that, even though we're firing a probe directly at the sun. Now, we didn't give in to the idea that the sun was a star until recently. Giordano Bruno proposed the idea in 1590, and we burned him at the stake for suggesting it. Seriously, I can't stare at this any longer. Yes, we're awful. I'm going to talk about the moon again. Scientists classify the moon as a natural satellite, and somehow this helps distinguish it from the artificial satellites we've been launching for the last 60 years. Now, what about terms like Luna? That's Latin for moon. It's not an official title or scientific term, but ooh, fancy, Latin. If you want to make sure people know you're talking about the moon and not a moon, it's all just about capitalization. Put a capital M in front of un and you're good to go. Now, the name of the solar system, it's the solar system. Again, capitalized. Our galaxy, the galaxy with a capital G. The universe, capital U universe. Now, what about the sun? Isn't it sol? That's just the Latin word for sun. Helios, Greek version of the sun. So, if we've ever discovered that we're really living in a multiverse, we'll need to give those other universes names, and people will wonder what the actual official title is for the universe. I'll make another video for that when it happens, I promise. The official advice from the International Astronomical Union, uh, who are the people you're still mad at about Pluto, is that the capitalization is what makes the definition. Now, not everyone in the world adheres to the capitalization so carefully, which can tend to some confusion. Are we talking about the sun or the sun? Well, as someone who writes space articles, let me assure you, messing this up will light up the comments section with, which is better, Deep Space Nine or Voyager? A level of shrill, all caps, screaming. Calling it the moon is kind of boring. That's only because scientific discovery has pushed our understanding of the universe so far out. It's amazing to think that we've discovered so many other moons in the solar system, and soon, We'll find them around other stars. So for now, it's the universe. When we find others, this one will still be the capital U universe, and the new ones will be Nimoy and Sagan and Clark. So why don't we give the moon a new name, something a little more razzle-dazzle. Uh, make your suggestions in the comments below. Alternatively, suggest a fancy Latin name for the guide to space. I've got dibs on Ether Libris. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen, and we'd like to thank Chris Copobianco and Christian Zuppinger, and the rest of the members who support us in making great space and astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get on the action? Click here. Okay, Logan, that's it. Totally it. Logan, you done?